We're going to have some fun talking about the three box transformation that you can use in storytelling in business. And this is the three box that you're going to learn in a minute, but a little bit of backstory to this. We're talking about transformation, which is being used in monomyths, myths, stories, movies, business for thousands of years, allegories told in religious texts or business transformations, Air Asia, Apple. You name it, all the successful ones have had some kind of transformation and they follow this set pattern. I want to use the three box technique, which we can learn from studying classic novels. And you can see this in movies. Christmas Carol, written by Charles Dickens, was written in 19th century England. And it was a story where our main character, Ebenezer Scrooge, as played by Jim Carrey here, is pictured as a miserly, I think the words is scratching, retching businessman in London, somebody who loved money. And it was very sort of indicative of the time where there were extremely rich and extremely poor people in London. And there was poverty on the streets and people lived destitute and sick and died. And yet there were rich people who were profiting from industry. Ebenezer Scrooge was a business owner, and he, like many of his class at the time, was obsessed by money and treated his people very badly. And obviously, this is a character that needs to undergo some form of transformation, but the transformation is not going to happen through a natural process. The transformation needs to happen through realization and pain. And only then can we understand how to change. And in Christmas Carol, Ebenezer Scrooge returns home after the end of his office hours, his factory hours at Christmas. And he returns home to an empty home and falls asleep and is then visited by a ghost. And then what happens in Christmas Carol is he's visited by three ghosts. And this is really important because it's key to the three box transformation, which I'll show you in a minute. The ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas future. Each ghost reveals to the hero, effectively is the bad guy, Ebenezer Scrooge, the truth. And from being revealed the truth, he is able to make change. And great stories don't tell the plot line. They don't tell bullet points. They reveal the truth. And then the change is made naturally for the hero. And if you think about it in terms of business transformation, digital transformation, it's the same. Like you have this situation where the hero is the company, the bad guy, if you like, it's got all these things that are wrong with it that needs to change. And it's not going to change simply by process. You, you can't optimize your way to a better future. You can't give change to managers. It's like asking managers to get to the moon. If you asked a manager to get to the moon, he would build a taller tower. What you need is a leader because the leaders can disrupt. And this is this pro process of transformation, which we'll learn in the three box technique, is that it, it's a departure. It's a redemption. It's a, it's a, a realization and a rebirth leaving behind the old form. And that's what transformation is. Transform, change, trans, shape, form. The changing shape of business caused by, in some cases, digital. So let's look at how this happens in A Christmas Carol. Transformation of Ebenezer Scrooge, the hero of our story. He's visited by the ghost of Marley and the ghost of Marley shows him Christmas past and Christmas past for Ebenezer Scrooge is young Ebenezer. He's a boy growing up and he's happy. And then he marries, or I think he doesn't marry. He has a fiance and the fiance leaves him because of his love for money. She realizes that she, he will never love her as much as he loves money. And therefore he leaves her and both of them 
are now suffering a broken heart. So the first re revelation of truth to Ebenezer Scrooge is that this has caused him pain. You know, it's the reason why he's alone and unhappy is because of his love of money. And then the next night, I think it is, he's visited by the ghost of pr Christmas present, which is Christmas today. And the ghost of Christmas present visits our hero and shows him not Ebenezer Scrooge's Christmas, but the, the Christmas of Bob Cratchit. Now, Bob Cratchit is an employee of Mr. Scrooge. And there's a scene in Christmas Carol where Bob Cratchit is waving goodbye to uh, Ebenezer Scrooge for Christmas as the office closes for Christmas. And he says, Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. And Scrooge famously says, bah, humbug. He's miserable. That's his famous line, humbug. So Bob Cratchit is happy or he's trying to be positive and then he returns home and then the ghost shows Ebenezer Scrooge the reality of Bob Cratchit's life. Bob Cratchit lives in a poor house with his wife and his child and his child is Tiny Tim and Tiny Tim is suffering from some kind of disease. Uh, it could have been, for example, at the time, very common polio afflicted many children and made them have all kind of growth disorders and maybe why he was tiny um, because he didn't grow and you're suffering from degenerative disease and the doctor in this scene this vision provided by the ghost is saying that tiny tim's gonna die because he's so sick and you know they don't have money they're poor and now you know that is the end of it basically for tiny tim and Scrooge is watching this and he's upset by it. But, you know, he, he realizes now that what he didn't realize before is that the people around him are suffering. So now he's realized that he, you know, he's scared away anybody that ever loved him. Now he's, you know, affecting people's lives. But the final transformation happens in the ghost of Christmas present, which is the story of what he will become if he continues. And in this story, what he sees is a funeral. And he sees this funeral of somebody who's died. And there is nobody there at the funeral. And it's sad and it's lonely. And Ebenezer Scrooge watches this funeral and he's sad because like how can any because now he feels how can anybody die alone and unloved? And then the ghost reveals to him that this is Ebenezer Scrooge's funeral. And this is the future person he will become. And this is the transformation. This is the pain that creates the transformative power to change. That he realizes that pain is too great for him to continue in the current form that he needs to change. And what it then does is it creates this chain of events where Ebenezer Scrooge transforms he understands the error in his ways he then atones he makes peace with bob cratchit and you know he celebrates i think he invites bob cratchit's family and tiny tim to ebenezer scrooge's house for a bountiful christmas dinner a happy christmas dinner and the ending scene is they say Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. And he says, Merry Christmas. You know, he, he's returned home to who he once was. At the beginning of the Ghost of Christmas Past, he was the happy young boy. And now he's returned home to that reality because he is transformed. And really, this is the three box storytelling technique is you can apply this to transforming an airline as much as you can to the Christmas Carol. And you can break it down these three ways, past, present, future, the three box. You tell the story. Past is the mindset. What is the mindset that got us here? So in Scrooge's case, it was, well, I my love of money has uh, caused all of this. It's scared off everybody who loved me, and it's holding me back. 
You know, I can't love somebody. I can't connect with people unless I change that. That's the mindset, right? In the context of an airline, it's, well, we got here because we're an airline selling tickets, selling seats, but that can't get us to the next stage, right? You know, we can't exist on just flying people from A to B. That ain't going to work anymore present is the reframe. This is the realization of change, that the pain is too great that something needs to happen. So in the context of the Christmas Carol, the reframe is seeing the death of a young boy, Tiny Tim, who has nothing to do with the story of of the employee or the office or anything. But for Ebenezer Scrooge to realize it's not just about him, but all these people and these innocent people around him. Sure, maybe he can accept that he scared off his fiancée. Maybe that's just because he was a bastard. But can he accept that he's responsible for the death of a young boy? Maybe that's too much. That's the reframe. I need to change. This is not acceptable. And to, I need to depart from the old world. And in, in the airline, it's like, how do we reframe? It's like, we need to become, we need to move out of this shape of business. We need to not focus on selling tickets. We need to focus on data. We need to not focus on the number of flights. We need to focus on solving the number of problems. We need to focus on not being the best airline, but offering the best experience and the best travel solutions. That's the present reframe. And then the future is, what do we want to become? And in Christmas Carol, it's done through, what do we not want to become? Do you want to die alone and sad and miserly and unloved and wasted life? And in the airline, it's, what is the airline we want to become? What is the business we want to become? We want to become AirAsia 2.0. We want to become a platform, not a pipeline. We want to become an ecosystem, not a department. We want to become a travel experience, not a seller of seats. That's what we want to become. And that's what we've got to communicate to people. So when you present your plans, present them in this way, three boxes. This is how we got here. This is where we are now and why it's not acceptable. And this is the shape of the business that we need to become. That is transformation. It's a journey. It involves risk. It involves resistance. It involves doubt. But if you don't cross the river, look at the outcome. Look at the future. Look at what you could become or what you will become if you don't change. That's your job as a leader, to tell that story. Transformation is a story. Digital transformation is not about digital. It's about people. Digital transformation is a story that needs to be told by leaders. That's more important than the choices they make about technology. The story they tell about the business and the shape of the business they need to become as a result of digital is more important than the technologies they need to use to get there. That is what storytelling is about. And fundamentally, that's the most important thing in business today. That story, that leader's story. Think about how that has impacted the value of Netflix from going from being mailing DVDs is where they started to selling data to being an entertainment company. Look at the price to earning ratios, 3x, 180x. That's the power of business storytelling. And look at it. You don't need to tell a 180x story here. You just need to break it down. You can borrow from Charles Dickens. It's been around for 200 years. And very simple. Just map this out. So the next time you get the chance, don't rush in and say like, this is it. Break it down. Three boxes. I hope you enjoy it this storytelling course. And I hope this provides useful tools for you to go ahead and transform, to lead, to engage, to influence, and to put a dent in the universe.